Welcome to another exciting edition of Duke Dash in DC. This is probably the worst level of the game since it's frighteningly huge and also confusing. Which is why I've got Psychedelic Eyeball with me. Why do you hate me so much? Because you pointed out how awful this level was, so I felt kind of that I had to bring you along. <laughs> yeah. This is usually the level where people quit playing this add-on. It's, uh, it's just too long and too confusing. Yeah. And... But we will see me break my own record for playing this level, which is nice. Uh, I'm only gonna get lost twice, I think? Yeah, and for this level, this is pretty much an accomplishment, because, well, just you wait until this level is huge, because you probably probably are thinking, how, how could this level take, like, 25 minutes to beat or something, but you'll see, you'll see. Yeah, to, to spice things up, I decided to uh, kill everything with pipe bombs. Yeah, that's, an, that's a way to head challenge, considering that, I don't know, not only the level is way too big, but gameplay-wise, it's really not the best. I mean, the level looks good, but yeah, it's just way too big. Yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of corridors. I mean, all the exhibits, when we get to them, are, to be honest, they are really cool. It's just that, ah, uh, you don't see them that much, and uh, killing facehuggers with pipe bombs are kind of <laughs> tricky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now you've used your feet. You've ruined your entire challenge. I yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> I will fail that challenge soon enough, since I've only got 13 pipe bombs. I thought that I for once would actually use something other than. The chain gun or the shotgun, and, Damn, and when I finally started using something else, I run out of ammo. Yeah. Uh, so this level has a bunch of almost identical elevators, which is great, considering half of the time you're not really sure where you are. <laughs> yeah, that's really my favorite part of the entire yeah. level. Right uh, see that key card over there? That's yeah. um, the second key card, I think. That's the blue yeah. one. And, uh, yeah, so we need to get in there somehow. Uh, so far, no... No way of knowing. Yeah, where yeah because so the first key card is kind of not obvious where to go, and it kind of just underlies, once again, the fact that this game really loves to put a whole bunch of essential items into grades. Yeah, it's like the... I, I'm not... I'm not sure if you saw the two previous levels, but both of them start with you have to find the yellow key card, and both of them have the yellow key card hidden in the ventilation. Yeah. In a room in the ventilation. Yeah, and once again, this is the yellow key card, which which comes first and which is into a grade. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting into the Smithsonian, um, going through a whole bunch of corridors, and hopefully, if I kill that dude, yes I did, sweet, Yep. we'll finally get to see our first exhibit, soonish. Yeah, I mean, we already saw that huge plane over there, but yeah, you will see that most of the exhibits at least look nice, but this Human. astronaut doesn't look nice at all. Humans in space. Um, I don't uh, think we're gonna find too much humans in there. No. Also, for some reason, I don't know why the mapper decided to, whenever he wanted to use text, use the same uh, thing on everything that's stolen from some other. Yeah, yeah I think the I think they really use this font to all of the game or something like that. Uh, oh, that is I my fa that is my favorite like bug in the if you play the original uh, build engine, the explosion is tiny, but the uh, the uh, um, that disk asset, the satellite uplink thingy, it's supposed to be big, and if you shoot it, it explodes. And that uh, character stays even though the mapper shrunk the satellite thingy. Yeah. So you, if you play in the original, you get a tiny explosion. But since I'm using a fancy port, uh, I'm guessing the. Uh, the guy that did the port didn't bother to change that, since all the explosions are the same size, which is kind of a shame. 
Not that anyone cares. Hey! Alright! Finally we get something. Yeah, I should point out that I wasn't sure where the yellow key card was when I found it. I was just like, it, I'm pretty sure it's in the ventilation somewhere. So I'm um, at this point in the map, I'm feeling really lucky. I'm like, this is going way ahead of schedule. I was expecting to run around for like at least five more minutes before I found it. Um, yeah, because yeah, the first reflex that many people will have with this level is to just go through every single exhibit until they find the key, but hey, you're never going to find it. Yeah, Good job. Okay. Yeah, it, and it's like this place is built like ex uh, there's like three exhibits. This is the second one. We're going to go through the third one later on. And you'd think that the map would be kind of linear, so you start at one point in the exhibit, and then you hopefully get a key card at the end. That's not the case. You don't really need to even go through the first like humans in space exhibit. It's just there for you to look at, which is kind of nice, I guess. It's impressive, but map design-wise, it's just dumb. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, this level looks really nice, and then you're like, okay, now can it end, please? No? Really? And, like, this place has arrows on the floor, but it also has, like, several, several different paths you can go, so there's no one way to go through it, which, if you're designing a, an exhibit, that's dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But maybe the intent is to get people stuck inside the exhibit so that they can appreci appreciate it more. Well, maybe, but that would be like someone designing a mall, designing an exhibit. I mean, like, there's not that much to buy here. <laughs> and, like, what's this place? Yeah. <laughs> and now we're back here. I don't know. We need that later, and that thing opens a door somewhere in this exhibit. At this point when I play this, I knew it opened a door somewhere and I needed to get into it. I just didn't know where. And it's not that door. Yeah. I I really remember spending something like three or four minutes just circling around this entire exhibit the first time that I played the map and Yeah, I the first time I played this I I didn't even finish it. I was like I have no idea where to go, and that was before YouTube, so I couldn't get a proper like video walkthrough, so I was kind of helpless at that point. Yeah, I don't remember how long it took me to beat this level the first time, but I'm pretty sure it took me close to an entire hour. See, found the door, it's at the entrance of the exhibit, so you need to go all the way back. Yet another awesome game level design trick there to extend oh, the gameplay. Yeah, but here comes, well, it's not here yet, but we're gonna see the best gameplay device of this entire level. It's just so marvelous. Yeah, it's, um, so you see all these bunch of doors here. Remember that blue key card? That it, it's in water, so... We probably need to get into these pools of water somehow, but all the doors are locked, so um, let's go all the way over here. Yeah, because I wonder how long it's gonna take it to, in order to get to the last room. Because I really don't know who the hell built a museum like this, but... No, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really strange to hide a door switch in like the tiniest pool at the bottom. So yeah. let's go into this pool and see what we have. Hey, you know the switch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right into the corner of a of a huge pool infested with sharks. Yeah, sure, yeah. that's the best way to open up the way to the tank. So let's see, did it open a door? Yes it did. Yeah. What do we have in here? Ah, oh, smaller pool. Yeah. With <gasps> another switch right into the corner of some place. I, re see what... I really will feel sorry for the guy who has to feed the sharks or something into this yeah, place it... because, well... This is, this is, I think this is my favorite part. Yeah, so... No, <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah. it's like, nope, too easy with switches. We need three, so it's yeah. a code. Well, at and least one... I didn't go for four. That's the yeah. only good thing which redeems this entire part. 
And once again, right there, that code thingy, I was really lucky because, fair enough, it's just three buttons, but I didn't know what it was and I got it on my first try, so I'm really pleased with that. And now we're right into the fish tank for aliens. Yeah, <laughs> this just seems... I mean, it's kind of a cool set piece, but this is... The maps so far have been kind of realistic, and this just seems like... Not really the way to build uh, a, a fish tank. Uh, what are you talking about? Obviously, we need to build all of our fish tanks right in front of a whole place infested by aliens. That's how it works. Hey, monster faucet. Another great sign of the level design into this level. Yeah, and now comes the tricky part. Because now we have the blue key card, and I can't remember where to go at this point. Yeah, mini heater, so good luck. <laughs> I still haven't figured out how to get in that. Uh, yeah. What the? <laughs> okay. I think this shark here is a little bit lost. Uh, it teens a bit. Or maybe. So, he's... yeah, we're back out in the huge corridors. Yeah, I think the shark was just wanting to have a stroll in the corridor because it... getting stuck into this fish tank and everything must be really boring. Yeah. And, like, it, it's not a good way to live. Especially not in a museum like this. No. No, people just go and stare at you, and you get all self-conscious, like, do my fins look okay? Have I eaten enough? Do I look ferocious enough? Am I sharky enough? Can people confuse me with a dolphin? All that, like, yeah. Self-conscious sharks are the worst sharks, pretty much. Yeah, but then again, you will be self-conscious if you were stuck in here. True. This is apparently the entrance to the Smithsonian. Going yep. through the subway. Yep, here's a map. Now we know where to go. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. There's unfortunately no sign which tells you, This is where you put the blue key card! No. Let's guess, how many dudes do we have on the toilets in this bathroom? Uh, oh yeah. One and a two. Oh. Only two. Ah. You've wasted an innocent toilet. <laughs> I did. And here comes the janitor. And here's that same We the People texture we saw on the memorial the memorial service uh, level. And now we're in Ancient Worlds, which is the third exhibit, which is kind of not as cool as the other ones. Yeah, and, and we're also gonna have to roam in there a whole lot because I'm not completely sure about it, but I remember that you had to put the, the blue key card in there somewhere. Yeah, it's... the worst part about this exhibit is that I mean, all the set pieces have uh, like um, a staff uh, entrance to them, so you can either choose to go through the exhibit, like I'm doing now, or you can just run around behind the scenes, like I'm going to be doing shortly, and then get hella confused on where to <laughs> fucking go. Yeah. So this is employees only, and you kind of feel like this is probably where I need to go. I mean, uh, they're not—they're not gonna put a like a key door out in the open, surely. But this uh, just uh, leads uh, to uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just leads us back into the middle of nowhere. There's absolutely no reason to go there at all. Nope. And here's the back entrance. Oh yeah, I think this is where you hand the level. Yeah, but we're gonna uh, the, that's where the red key card door is. We haven't got the red key card yet, uh, but that is the exit behind that door. So we need to find the blue door. And I'm like, yes, this is probably it. Seeing as there were arrows and shit. And uh, no, no, you did you did the, all of this just for Hamu? <laughs> yes. 
you would think after playing through all of Dolo Falls into this game that all of the essential shit and everything is into the grades, but you know, it's something great every once in a while. And I think I stay here for a while. Maybe it's. I go through all of these rooms like several times. Because I know you're supposed to be able to get in there. Yeah. I... And. There's... Oh, yeah. You needed to step over here so that a door opens, and that, then you have to rush over to it. Yeah, I remember being able to get it, but I don't really remember how. Yeah, I, I know how to get it now. That's oh. how you get it. Oh, and, yeah. at, and at this point, I think, yes, this is this is probably where the red key card is, maybe. Or at least the blue door, no. Well, at least we got health, so it's at least more important than having, you know, yeah. ammo. <laughs> I'm just Tiny never explosion. gonna tire myself of the overly huge explosions. No, that that is the best part. And we're back at the beginning of the uh, of the ancient world exhibit. So nothing there yet. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Dad, I want to get out of the museum now. <laughs> so once again, one would think that. Uh, the security office, that might net us a key door of some kind, maybe? Nah, you just get cameras instead. Oh, and, and pipes. Again, baby. Yeah, and ventilation, which is awesome. But since we know ventilations are usually kind of important, I'm like, this might lead somewhere important, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Yeah, or maybe we're just going to end up circling back to where we used to be. Yeah, and at this point, um, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? I've already oh. been here. Hey, ammo! Yeah. So, that was good. Yeah, but it's still no cigar. No. <laughs> and this side, I don't think I would want to get one which is stuck into this place, so, okay. Where the hell are we again? I forgot. Yeah, this is, uh, and now I'm, just, I'm amazed that there's still enemies left. Like we haven't even, we haven't been all over the Smithsonian yet. Yeah, I'm going yet. to be really surprised if you somehow manage to get all of the kills in this level. Nah, I don't think I do. But hey, we're back in the security office. I wonder where we can go from here. I have, I, I think you're supposed, you, there's some way to get up even higher up into like the ventilation for a, some secret somewhere, but, which is what I'm running about, nah, trying to find right now. And I decide to go fuck it and ride the elevator instead. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're back at the entrance once again. Yes. And... I I know that this has something to do with like the key door is somewhere in the ancient exhibit, so I'm on the way back. Let's let's see how many are here. First, yeah. One, two, three, and three. four. Oh. oh. I wanted I wanted it to be four. I think we all did. But no such luck. Who wants some? Oh. Yeah, I really don't remember this. Oh yeah, I think this is how you get the RPG in this map. Or not. <laughs> I... Uh, yeah. I I thought this was the... I thought that was the way to get the RPG. But no, you just get out into the pool in the H ancient world exhibit. It's like, it's the worst secret ever. <laughs> really is. Basically, you're doing that all for pipe bombs. Yeah, you're doing it for pipe bombs and yet another alternate alternate route to, like, the same place. Yeah, that, that's also another reason why I don't like this game. It takes forever before you get the RPG, or at least it took me forever because I sure as hell couldn't find any into the beginning levels. I'm yeah. not sure if, I, if it was because I was stupid and just forgot all about it, or if it's just because, well, they're just devilish dicks into hiding it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the second one. I'm not even sure there are that mm. many RPG, RPGs yeah. hidden. Uh, for some reason, the mapper who did this, uh, I mean, he did it in a really short time, but still, like most of the maps, we're on the fourth map, 
and still we only have like pipe bombs, a few crypt mines, uh, the Devastator without much ammo, and the chain gun and the shotgun. So all all you use is the chain gun and the shotgun, and that's that's kind of boring. I mean, there's ammo for the shrinker. But yeah, and we have yet, no shrinker. Yeah, I I haven't been able to find it. I'm I'm sure it's probably in this map somewhere. Here's where you had to go, by the way. I totally missed it the first time around, and I was like, what the fuck? how the fuck could I miss yeah, this? Yeah, we were so close, but yet so far. Yeah, that was me being pissed off. <laughs> get some. Now, oh, yeah. I uh, remember this part? Oh yeah, I remember this one. Ambushers into a really tight corner unless you take this little pet right here. Yep. Yeah, in fact, I never even noticed those footsteps in the first place. I just neither, yeah, neither did I. It's just like you go through and people spawn in, and you're like boom, boom. And now the door didn't want to open, but oh, yeah, there's a switch. Good. It's obvious enough that it's there. Oh, the mummy room. Yeah, this is a pretty ugly mummy. Yes, <laughs> pretty a pretty mummy of. Pixelated face. And not a very happy one. But once again, it's all about the context. And this doesn't seem like very really museum like to me. Nah, this is a make it yourself coffin. Basically, <laughs> you go in there whenever you want to be buried alive. <laughs> Groovy. And once again, I don't really think this is museum like in the slightest. But hey, at least in this museum they didn't make you shoot switches that were right beside doors and all of this in order to open them and rush through and hoping that you get somewhere. No, um, but there is insta kill spots, which is yeah. nice. Also, yeah. we picked up the red key card. That means we can finally get out of here. Hell yes. Yeah, what we we'll need to do now is find our way back. Yeah, <laughs> and waste all of our shotgun ammo shooting pipes. Yeah, I don't know what what I was thinking there. Yes, this is how we do it. Hey, we're in a bathroom. Cool. What an epic journey from <laughs> hell to the women's bathroom. And all I have to do now is find my way back to the red key card door, which is... Hey, I managed to do it. Which I'm kind of impressed with. I found the right way straight away. And End of the level! Without too much fanfare, but hey, thank you! En <laughs> enemies killed. 